Well, here I go again, trying to do something with this face. Stay tuned. Hi, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev. And welcome to Mask Monday Ladies, which is recorded on Sundays during Seahawks games. <laughs> well, today, out of breath, I just cleaned the bathroom. Just washed the face, so before I put the rest of my junk on, and I just forgot my teeth. Hold on. Okay, well, I ever get used to these damn things. <laughs> I'm just sitting in the house. I don't bother putting it on, you know, because it's annoying as heck. When I eat food, it's up underneath the thing and oh, getting old. So what I'm going to do today is this new Ulta Beauty banana mask that I got from Ulta, of course. Let's see. I'm going to put this towel on. And that. And then after, well, while we're letting that percolate, we're gonna do some more of the self-care and sex ed with Bloom. We haven't done those for a while. <sighs> so let's get started here. Let me take this off. Let's put, I'm gonna put this one on. I won't have it flashing this time though. It's warm out, but it's overcast, so it makes it kind of, oh, what do you call it, humid a little bit. Not humid like back east, you know, but, but it's, uh, yesterday it rained. It was our first day of winter, and I mean it rained. <laughs> so we moved the car out on the street because, you know, it sits underneath this awning, and when it rains, any of the dirt and, and sand and everything has been, you know, kind of flowing and hitting on the awning, comes down with the rain drips down and it gets on our car and wouldn't you know we just watched got the car washed friday and i told bob that's why it's raining you know we should have waited <laughs> so and all the chairs we have sitting out there you know around the bar but not the barbecue but the fire pit and he had to quick go out and fold those up and set them under where they wouldn't get wet so we didn't get to do our happy hour saturday night so we're gonna maybe do it tonight bob's gonna make a big picture of his sangria all right, let's see. Let me put these back on while I help me see to open this. So we're getting our winter, which consists of a little bit of rain and temperatures in the 60s. Oh, let's see. Of course, it's real. Yeah. Ooh, doesn't it look like I, somebody soaked it with urine? <laughs> I know, I know, I can be pretty disgusting. <laughs> I think I embarrass my daughter. She's not quite the uh, sense of humor that my mother and I had. <laughs> my mother was a nut too. Mm, I can smell the banana. Ooh. You can tell I'm hot because my, my glasses are steaming up <laughs> while I'm doing, looking down at this. Let's see. Get it open all the way. Okay. Okay. Now. And I forgot my little rolling pin. Oh. What time we have on there? Oh. Let's see. Oh. I don't know if I should put my... I'll be able to put this on because it's... Once they start talking, that's the only way it stays on.
got my mouth covered up, my eyes are covering up. Come on, boy, calm down. It's not too high in the chin. As you can see, hold on a second. Okay, I wanted to snap the picture while I was thinking of it. Turn that down. And put the glasses back on. Okay, well, so uh, how have you guys been? I know I didn't do one last week because I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> you, know, you know, you got moods where you just don't feel like it. And right now I'm in one of my, I just don't feel like moves. <laughs> I go to the uh, pulmonary guy tomorrow, meaning Tuesday. I'll see what words of wisdom he may have. Though my cough is really eased up. And what I did was the nose drops, I'm supposed to put it every night, you know, two drops each. The new ones that my my uh, Washington doctor changed me to. It was driving me nuts. My nose was so dry all day long that I finally just started doing one shot and that helped. Now my nose isn't driving me crazy. So, uh, not really anything new happening. Well, let's get started with these guys. Self-care and sex ed with balloon. start with this one which is a self-care well, I need this one what are three things that cheer me up when I'm sad my kids my hubby <laughs> sugar <laughs> and I've been really overdoing the sugar oh my god put on some more pounds so I tell I tell myself self as soon as January starts you gotta quit buying all this sugar crap so and Bob's also put on weight, so that's why it hasn't bothered me as much. So there's that one. Let's see. This one is a healthy relationship. At what point does conflict become a problem for you? And the little prompt they have is when it's happening too frequently, when the outcome doesn't make you feel good. I, that's about right, yeah. I don't really have conflict much with my husband. <laughs> yeah. He knows to do everything the way I want it. <laughs> so, usually when we do, we get it settled right away. You know, we don't yell at each other, don't cuss at each other, nothing like that. We just boop, 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 you know, say our, our opinions both ways, and then it's gone. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, consent and decision making. Informed consent means that everyone is on the same page about what is to happen. So the question is, what information do you need to know about a potential partner before you would feel comfortable consenting to sexual activity with them? Well, for one thing, I don't need to know anything anymore. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere, and if he does, it's going to be up there. And I have no interest in ever having a... Uh, another relationship with a man. <laughs> you know, I've had the best. I can't get, you know, just not interested. So here's what they suggest. A partner's age, what method of birth control is being used, when they last got tested for STIs, what style of sexual activity partners want to engage in. Then we have a puberty. Oh, that, that's in our category, girls. How do you like to manage the hair on your body? <laughs> the prompt says, leave it alone, shave it, wax it, dye it, braid it. <laughs> well, when I was in puberty, the only way you can manage hair, you know, like on your legs and your arms, and, and there was no such thing back then as the uh, landing strip, you just shaved it. Well, they had something called nair. I don't know if they still do. <laughs> so we just shaved it. And now, 
the good Lord has removed any of the hair I had on my legs, so I don't need to shave my legs anymore. It's almost gone to my pits, so. <laughs> All right, self-care. What are three things that calm me down when I'm angry? Sugar, sugar, sugar. <laughs> no, Bob helps calm me down when I'm angry. He's always has such good common sense. And <laughs> That's about it. These seem to be like they're a little repetitive because every time I use them, I put them in something else. You know. Can you describe gender dysphoria? I think we've had this before too. The answer is feelings of conflict or distress a person may feel when their sex assigned at birth does not match their gender identity. That's what it is, okay? Distress is greatly increased when a person is not supported at home or in their community. Well, I haven't had to face this with any member of my family, but if I did, I'd just kind of support them, accept it. <coughs> Another body signs. People experiencing gender dysphoria <laughs> may choose to undergo transitioning. What do you think may be included in this process? Maybe included. Well, here's the answers that they gave. Social, changing their name, pronouns, hair, makeup, clothing. Medical. Hormone replacement therapy, surgical, top, upper, or bottom, lower surgery. <laughs> this sounds creepy, you know, to put your body through that. Oh, I mean, but nobody would choose to be that way, so it's not like, you know, that, oh, the guy's stuck in the head. No, they're not. <laughs> nobody would choose that. I had an experience when I was working. Now, this was back in the, you know, early 90s when all this stuff wasn't as accepted by John Q. Public. And one of the contractors we had was a guy who decided, he, he, I think he was in his 60s, he was no longer going to be a man, or wanted to be a man, he, but he was transgender, it wasn't uh, this one. And the first time we went to see him, <laughs> kind of strange, we didn't know what to expect, you know, how are we going to react, because we just didn't see it that much from somebody that we knew. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, we were worried that during the meeting we'd get laughing. <laughs> you know, it's new to us. It went okay. I told him I thought he looked pretty, you know. <laughs> and he, he's, he, oh, she is still a she. I saw him on uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> <coughs> Another one, body science. How can you be an ally to our trans and gender nonconforming friends? Well, just accept them, you know, they are who they are. Now, they, the prompt on here is calling out discriminatory language, advocating for gender-neutral bathrooms. It's, it's hard because, you know, a lot of times, if you're not of that particular gender or race or things like that, a lot of times you don't realize what things, uh, you know, words that you use could hurt them. So sometimes I think you need to have some of them pointed out to you nice, nicely and say, you know, that's one of those words that really offends me, you know, because otherwise, a lot of times you don't know. <laughs> uh, let's try another self-care. Vulnerability can be described as choosing to do what is right over what is comfortable. How can vulnerability Vulnerability allow you to care for yourself in, in an authentic way. I don't know. I think just being yourself just makes you feel more comfortable. And I, I feel, I, I try to be myself, obviously. And I figure if people don't like it, oh, well, you know, I don't need a bunch of friends. <laughs> you know, I'd rather have people who like the way I am be my friends. Because if they don't, then they're not my friends. <laughs> Let's try that. The pink one, that one is, con oh, another consent decision-making. What qualities do you think make a good sexual partner? <laughs> Their prompt is someone non-judgmental, a good communicator, someone present, not distracted, someone willing to be vulnerable. Yeah, I'd say those are about right. Healthy relationships. What do you think it means to be asexual or aromantic. I don't know, so let me read what they say the answer is. It means the person does not experience sexual attraction 
or romantic attraction to other people. Okay. Sometimes that might be easier in life. <laughs> um, try a green one. Oh, another body size. What is ovulation? The moment when an egg leaves the ovary. Self-care. Well, who benefits when I take care of my mind, body, and soul? Me. Me and anybody who has to deal with me, especially body, my family. Ask yourself, what do I struggle with when it comes to taking care of myself? I struggle with food, putting food in my mouth. <laughs> That's my biggest struggle, is putting sweets in my mouth. Ask yourself, what do I struggle with when it comes to communicating my feelings with people I love? Well, a lot of it is, you know, especially if it's people you love and you've known them a long time, you know it's going to irritate them. And so sometimes it's better just to keep things to yourself <laughs> rather than irritate them. That's how I feel. What? Oh, you'll love this one. Why does one testicle usually hang below the other? <laughs> well, if they were next to each other, you'd see this big, you know, or this way, it fits better in their, in their pants, right? <laughs> it says, the answer, potties grow rapidly during puberty, and in order for testicles to fit comfortably in the scrotum, the sack that holds them, one usually hangs slightly lower than the other. Okay, now don't we feel enlightened? <laughs> In a perfect world, how much time would you want to spend with a romantic partner? I would say every day, as much time as I can, as long as they want to spend it with me. Their little prompt is every day, three nights a week, or only weekends. I guess that's when you're dating. Of course, even when you're married, though, you do need some time yourself. <laughs> What are some ways you can navigate your frustrations or disappointment when someone changes their mind about wanting to engage in sexual activity? <laughs> the prompts. You can masturbate. <laughs> Exercise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go on next. I'm trying to see somebody exercising it. Oh, let's not be getting it. <laughs> Hang out with friends. Find a distraction like a movie or video game. Remember, it's never okay to pressure or guilt someone because our expectations were not met. And you want them to be understanding of you, too. How do the boundaries with your best friend differ from the boundaries with coworkers or school peers? I would expect, because I don't have a total, what I call a, a total best friend, you know, someone that I get together with all the time, talk to all the time, all that kind of stuff, my hubby. And so, you know, someone that, no matter what you tell them, you know they're not going to go repeat it to other people. What is the most important relationship you have? Clue. It's not with another person. <laughs> with my animals? My geese? The answer is, that's right, you guessed it. The most important relationship we all have is our relationship with ourselves. And sometimes it takes enough to be in your 70s before you're okay with yourself <laughs> and that's okay oh no <laughs> what is a clitoris or clitoris however you pronounce it it's an organ whose only job is to experience pleasure <laughs> yay i'm hearing what it says it looks very small from the outside, but it's largely an internal organ. It is roughly one-eighth the size of a penis with nearly double the nerve endings. <laughs> Most people need cl clitoral stimulation in order to experience organs. Well, duh. Orgasm. I mean, not orgasm. <laughs> what are some functions of the vaginal opening? Well, the answer is where blood exits during menstruation. Oh, I remember that <laughs> way back. 
where a penis would enter in one style of sex called vaginal intercourse, which is the only type of sex that can lead to pregnancy, not on me, where a baby would leave the body during a vaginal birth. Things get a little too uh, personal to me, <laughs> that color question. Can you guess what age bodies start going through puberty? It's different for everyone. Some people begin puberty as young as eight. I think they do nowadays. And some as late as 14 or 15. How can you foster a healthy relationship with yourself? <laughs> it's so annoying. I don't have to see it like this. The prompt. Oh, my, my lights are going off. Oh, my lights, my lights are coming off my head. <laughs> Prompts, self-care, understanding your boundaries and limits, leaving toxic relationships, celebrating your successes. I don't know, I'm getting tired of these, are you? <laughs> I mean, I really am. Oh, but we went through a bunch today. I'm gonna stop now, we went through that many. I need to start coming up with something else to do on Mondays. If I'm going to keep doing these videos. I'm, I'm, I'm this close to not doing these videos anymore because not enough people really watch them, you know. And you put a lot into doing these things, and, you, and you, if not a lot of people are watching, you so go, "Why am I doing it?" You know. I mean, I'd still be doing it, but just not on camera. <coughs> so it's all. Uh, Doing these vid doing not just these videos, but videos in general is all a, a, a lot of experimenting, you know, to see what do people want to see, which things turn them on most to watch you. Let's see if I can do this with a mask on. Ah, get it. And ha ah, ah. Unfortunately what turns on some people mostly are my panty or my bra videos. You know, I'll get, I'll get comments sometimes. Why didn't you try them on? <laughs> you know, for the camera. Well, duh. It's obvious why. You're lucky I'm even showing you them as they come. <laughs> so I think this has been on long enough. Let's, uh, let's get this baby off. Oh, oh, it's such a relief. Cause they get really, you know, when you put them on, they feel so hot. Then when you get them off, I mean, when you put them on, they feel cold. And then when you get them off, it feels so hot. Mm, but it sure smells good. It's pretty wet still. You know, I says to pat it in, but let's just move it down here too. Yeah. So I'm just gonna have to let it dry while we're talking. So, Well, at least I've gone over, I always go over eight minutes with these. The problem I'm having right now are those uh, uh, advent calendar videos. They're not very long. Boy, I see my money drop. That's <laughs> my earnings. <laughs> you know, it's hard to figure out how do you stretch those out. <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to let you guys go. Please comment below and tell me if you want to see me keep doing these or come up with subjects or something you'd like me to talk about, okay? Because I'm getting bored with these. You must be too. Share, like, and subscribe. And I hope you're all having a happy holiday. Go Hawks! They lost last week. They better win today. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.